ISO settings explained. If you've been interested in filmmaking, video production, or photography, chances are you've heard the term ISO when referring to camera settings. Over the next few weeks, I will be exploring the holy trinity of camera settings one by one. ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Knowing as much as you can about these important camera settings will help us become better at controlling the images our cameras capture in various scenes and scenarios. Today we are focusing on ISO. ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. ISO, in its simplest explanation, controls how bright or dark your image is, but it also has an effect on noise and contrast within the image. ISO is often confused with exposure. While ISO isn't the same as exposure, it does affect the exposure of your image. If we were shooting on actual film stock, which most people don't do anymore, it would explain how sensitive the film is to light. The higher the ISO, the more sensitive the film is to light. And it also affects how quickly it takes the film to expose. But in the world of digital cameras, different cameras have different exposure indexes, which is basically how sensitive our camera's sensors are to light. Most digital cameras have a native ISO, which is the optimal or default ISO setting that will give you the best looking image, less noise, and balanced contrast. But sometimes you have to adjust your ISO up or down from the native ISO setting to get the best image. For the most part, you are going to want to use the lowest ISO setting available to you when you can. The lower the ISO setting, the less noise will be introduced into the image. Noise creates blurring and distortion within details of the image. The less of that, the better. In general, when shooting outdoors, you will want to use an ISO setting in the 1 to 200 range. For interiors with well-lit lighting, you may get the best results around 800. And for dim interiors, you may need to go up as high as 1600 to get a clearly visible image. But be aware that increasing the ISO this high is going to also increase noise in the image, especially with cameras with smaller sensors. Get creative with using a lower ISO setting with dimly lit shots to minimize the need to increase your ISO if you can. Look for sources of light in the shot to maximize the light hitting your camera's sensor. Now let's take a look at a few images and see how increasing or decreasing the ISO affects the image in real time. So in a nutshell, ISO settings control how sensitive our camera's sensors are to light. Use lower settings in well-lit scenarios and increase them only when you have to in darker lit scenarios. I hope you found this video very beneficial. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help this channel grow here on YouTube. Big thanks to our channel members and this video's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Be sure to check out their link in the video description for a free 30-day trial. Thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.